Welcome to Automotive One, you automotive channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. We going to review the 2019 Volvo XC40 is the section level hybrid for the Swedish automaker. It takes a similar essential equation that is functioned admirably for the XC90 and XC60 and distills it into a littler, cuter and more affordable bundle. Like the opposition from BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi and that's only the tip of the iceberg, the XC40 offers as much on style as it does on reasonableness or drivability. Our analyzer was the R-Design display, one of two trims accessible at the auto's dispatch. The R-Design bundle adds $2,500 to the XC40's base cost and incorporates 19-inch wheels, LED haze lights, a dark differentiating rooftop, sparkle dark rooftop rails, control front seats with cowhide and nubuck, paddle shifters and a couple of more energetic touches. Different choices on this model incorporate the $900 premium bundle, remote charging cushion, pilot help, concealed capacity compartments and the sky is the limit from there, a $995 propelled bundle, 360 degree camera, a $1200 all-encompassing moonroof, $800 20-inch wheels, and a couple of other individual highlights. Also, on the off chance that you missed it, the XC40's EPA mileage appraisals turned out this week. Relate editor Joel Stocksdale, you know, I was a little led around this hybrid. I'm a colossal devotee of the 90 arrangement Volvos, XC90, S90, V90, on account of they give peaceful driving encounters without being excessively cushy and floaty. The XC40 doesn't convey on that. Rather, it appears Volvo endeavored to make it somewhat sportier, and thus it feels bargain. The ride is somewhat hardened and rough. The body moves around more than it ought to over asphalt blemishes. Taking care of is secure yet subpar, particularly in solace mode in which there's a decent lot of body roll. Dynamic fathoms the body move issue and gives the controlling great weight, yet it aggravates the ride and the directing is dependably totally numb. The motor is another point that feels a bit bargained. It's on the boisterous side, and it's not especially decent sounding, however the capable of being heard turbo murmurs and shrieks are enjoyable. I'm likewise all the more sympathetic of it since it's a fun motor to play with. There's a touch of slack, yet insufficient to bother, and it pulls so hard in the low to mid extent. It would be incredible in the lower to the ground, sportier model, for example, the inescapable S40 and V40. What's not bargained on the XC40 is the style. This thing is the coolest looking smaller hybrid available, all around, period. It's not only the bull-nosed, stout, hip body that makes it a style champion, the little points of interest do, as well. I'm enamored with the little silicone elastic Swedish banner label tucked in the hole between the bumper and hood. The aluminum trim with dark features on the inside is not at all like anything I've seen on another hybrid, and it the two looks and feels cool and one of a kind. It's likewise an agreeable place to be with the very flexible seats in our test auto, which gave only the appropriate measure of horizontal and lumbar help. Volvo's touchscreen infotainment additionally is very trendy, however it's not as simple to use as I'd like. What's more, extremely. The auto is simply so perfectly composed, that I could pretty much disregard its dynamic setbacks. Nearly. Relate editor Reese counts, I nearly prefer not to state it, yet I differ intensely with Joel. I was remarkably awed by the XC40. I was stressed Volvo's bundle would lose something in the refining procedure, yet the majority of the high focuses, outline, fabricate quality, ergonomics and reasonableness have all persisted for the most part unaltered. Without a doubt, a portion of the materials on the inside are less expensive than what you get in bigger kin, but on the other hand it's a hybrid that begins at just once again $35,000. It additionally looks and feels superior to any of the German rivalry. I think it drives well as well. Of course, the guiding is somewhat inert, yet it's immediate and weighted well. I'm not going to cut ravines or doing hot laps at Seca. I simply need something that has a little life around town. I likewise think the ride quality is truly great. Preferred in a few perspectives over the XC60 and XC90. 
Both of those can be unforgiving and uncompromising, particularly with bigger distance across wheels. The XC40, in spite of having discretionary 20s, is firm however not backbreaking. It likewise feels truly created on harsh asphalt. This motor is a genuine peach. The fumes note is somewhat harsh, yet it's extremely responsive, particularly off the line. That is genuine even in comfort mode. The 8 speed is fine, however it was by all accounts working somewhat harder than I might want. 